This cop just got served his own schlong. This cop just got served his own schlong. He should have stayed home and smoked the bong. This cop just got served his own schlong. He thought that he was tough, but the bus rider was rough. Rider, rough neck. This cop thought he was going to intimidate, but all he did was go home and masturbate. This cop got served his own schlong. <laughs> Here's a disgusting pig who put the gloves on and was ready for action and was ready to act on act unlawfully. But fortunately, this bus passenger knew his rights and would not let this cop trample them. This is what a patriot looks like, people. Take notice. Oh, hold on. This is from Photography is Not a Crime. Please like and subscribe to their channel. The name of the video is called Man Makes Successful Stand Against Las Vegas Police Asserting His Rights. If you don't want to hear me talking, go to Photography is Not a Crime and watch this in its entirety without me talking. Because I'm going to be interrupting. Here we go. I have no right to ask me to leave the bus. <laughs> Are you a bus? Yes. They ask you to leave the bus? You don't have no right to ask me to leave the bus. <laughs> Are you a bus pass? Yes, I do. Let me see it. None of your business. None of your business. None of your business. Damn, my finger's itching. Anything like that? No, you don't. I ask the question. Now, listen to me. He's going to tell you. No, right away with the threats. This cop don't care what happened, what's going on. It's right away with the threats of violence. That's all this cop knows. He thinks he's tough. He thinks he's Rambo with his uh, Dollar Tree sunglasses on. And his Harbor Freight gloves. He cannot turn the bus stop to get off. Yes, he can. No, he cannot. Yes, he can. No, he can't. I would not. Illegally, do anything for me. But I would not get off this bus until my stop is right. You see the cop just cock his neck like he's Rambo or something? They don't have to tell people that. They do that as an intimidation tactic. Like, we care if you record us. What's happening? The only people scared of cameras are government and police. The only people scared of cameras are government. Well, and morons on the streets, but... You don't have a right to film me. You can, the paparazzi can go and uh, basically stalk celebrities, but I can't film you in public, you moron. And again, no one hates cameras more than government and police. Listen, you don't know what happened, okay? Listen, I got on the bus before he raised your voice to me. You got to have a problem. I got freedom of speech. You know, you're going to have a problem. I'm trying to be tough. Stop. Stop it. Stop. Don't you see my costume? Slow it. You better stop. Listen to me. I'm asking you a question. I don't ask a question. No, I'm asking a question. I don't answer questions. Dude, that is the best defense against morons in costumes like this guy. Armed morons in costumes. If they can't ask you questions, they can't even do their job. I mean, well, they could do their job that the that they swore an oath to, but if you don't answer their questions, they can't do all that extra tyranny stuff they like to do. Like this guy's trying to physically remove a guy who's perfectly allowed to be where he's at, and he doesn't care what the story is. He thinks because the bus driver called or the company called that they're in the right immediately, and he's biased and he takes their side immediately, as you can see. I just told you again. Why didn't you? Why you I got on the bus prior to him getting on the bus. I'd already paid my fat. I don't have to answer to him. And I get off with any stop by police to get off on. Open doors, all three doors. Nobody checks passes. Do you know? Officially check passes. You're not going to harass me on the bus. Okay, so you know what he said? I don't care what he said. Okay, so now I have my legal pad back. This is your job. Okay? You don't know who or when they came. That's her pass. I'm a hard 
told you. Now they want to play semantics with the plastic card. See these plastic cards. Plastic cards, plastic cards. Do you see the problem with the plastic cards, the credit cards? And once once the society goes cashless, which is almost there, I mean, even I do uh, pay my bills automatically too because it's so convenient. But the problem is, look what it leads to. The driver's license slave card is the absolute worst thing in the world. That is freedom killer. They the government and especially police believe that plastic card gives them the right to suspend your Fourth Amendment if you walk on the wrong side of the street, suspend your First and Fourth Amendment if you don't turn on your blinky light within 150 feet of a turn. They believe the Constitution can be suspended if you make a wide left turn and don't hurt anybody. So think about the intellect you're dealing with. See, again, do you have ID? I don't need ID. Yes, you do. So the cop lies again. They, they can't help themselves. I ask you a question. Right now, we are investigating. So I'm not sure. Oh, here we go with the cops playing. We're investigating. Every cop nowadays thinks that they can impede your freedom and then investigate a crime. When in fact, they're supposed to be investigate the crime, have reasonable suspicion of a crime, then they have probable cause once they have reasonable suspicion of a crime. There is no crime here. This is stupidity. I'm asking you, Tenet. Right now, you are. If you're going to know what crime I've had. So let me ask you this. What crime have I committed without committed? Because, for security, you didn't show them a bus pass. That's not a crime. For security. So every time someone asks a cop what crime have I committed, they're always asking them what crime they committed. That's not a crime. For security. So every time someone asks a cop what crime they always divert and deflect with, I just want to know. I just need to know this. I just need that. I just, I'm investigating. Every time they do an unlawful detainment and someone says, well, what's the crime? They never answer because they can't because there isn't one because they're acting unlawfully under the color of law. In uniform, pretending to be acting per the law when in fact they're not. They're, they're going backwards. They detain first and then investigate. And that's just not how it works. They're being lazy and they're not following the law. Okay, listen to me. It is if you're what is it, a plane or a misdemeanor? That's a misdemeanor. Okay, then. Then you arrest me for not having the bus pass. Oh, what's so funny, douchebag, homo? Not that there's anything wrong with homos. It's just a word I've been using to slander douchebags for decades, and it's hard to get rid of. I play pool with homosexuals, and I love it. So, so what's so funny, douchebag? You're not going to get to use your gloves today? You're going to have to cock your neck the rest of the day, go home and abuse your family? Because the guy's trying to ride the bus and wants to be left alone? You didn't see his bus pass when you got on the bus? Just drive the bus, dude. That's what you do. Okay, so you me. Go, you got a bus pass? Yeah. So now he's decided to talk. Now he's decided. Now that he's on camera... Acting like a fool, making an unlawful detainment. Now he's deciding to talk and try to talk and figure out objectively what happened. Hey, listen, next time I'm, not asking, bus bus, I'm not asking any questions. You give it to you this man. Man. Oh, next time you ask for a bus pass, you give it to him. That's it. How about next time you go F your mother, dude? How about that? Don't tell me anything. Don't tell me what to do, idiot. But take your Harbor Freight gloves and show them up your. You are dismissed, Piggy. I got no more to say. Okay, good. You're dismissed. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not bad guys. We're never fun. You're dismissed. I told you I wasn't getting off this bus. Have a good day, sir. You too, sir. No, I was laughing at the thing I seen. Now, you can see you home. Good for you, brother. You did a good job. Again, this is a... Photography is not a crime. Subscribe to them. Click the bell. Click the thumbs up. Um, subscribe to my channel if you would like. I doubt YouTube is going to let me monetize this, even though I believe it's fair use. But under their policy, they're like, only a judge can decide what is fair use. Until then, we're just going to use our own judgment to... Why am I talking like that? We're going to use our own judgment to filter out content we don't like. So, go to Matsy's store, get yourself a ring. My rings are bad arse.
I wonder if arse is considered a cuss word in America because I hate the way it sounds. Don't start saying it, please. Don't leave it in the comments. Don't, 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 don't. All right. Like, subscribe to my channel, please. Go to my Etsy store and blibbity, blabbity, bloobity. Love you. Bye.